Hey Rajesh, glad to be meeting you at uh, Arabi Summit. Uh, Same here. Would like to get your views on digital, which is the buzzword these days. What are your views uh, on that? Digital transformation, you mean, right? right? <clears throat> so obviously, it's uh, you know, it's a period where everybody's talking about digital transformation, right? Uh, and what's the reason we are talking about digital transformation? So let's look at it very simply. People like you and me, uh, regular people. Uh, we are very fast at adopting uh, digital technologies, right? Any changes that happens in the market, whether it's respect to with respect to mobile, or whether it's respect to gadgets, for example, or gaming gadgets or television or whatever have you, uh, we are very quick and fast to adopt it. Uh, similarly, if there's a new app in the market which is, uh, you know, which seems to be useful for us, we are very quick at adopting it, right? So what's happening is people like you and me, which is all of us literally are living in a world which is the digital native world, right? Where we are enjoying and ex experiencing uh, power of applications like Uber, uh, Amazon, uh, Airbnbs and, and the world, right? And then there is this all sort of industries which are probably 100 years old or more, uh, which is your banking, your insurance, your manufacturing companies and telco and all the stuff, right? Uh, they are still sitting in the legacy world, right? So what's happening is most of the customers uh, are today in the digital native world, but the industries which support their life are actually sitting in the legacy world. And what these industries are trying to do is they are trying to get to where their customers are, which is on the digital native world, right? And hence there is this real requirement for transforming the way they do business, uh, which is the digital transformation, to get them to where the customers are. And the race is really, you know, about who's going to get there, right? Because they're, they are obviously going to get a larger piece of the market uh, market share. And, uh, and and that's what is happening today. And that, that's my two cents on digital transformation. Great. So what, according to you, are the success factors for uh, players in this, in this race? Sure. So, you know, this is a great question. Uh, what happens often is that in the race to do digital transformation, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, we make mistakes of taking discrete projects and executing them. For example, oh, we need an app, we should build this app and we have to get it out there. So let's do this by tomorrow and let's get it up and running. Or, you know, we need to really revamp our portal, let's just revamp it and make it look good, right? Uh, while that is very important, it is also important before you embark on a digital transformation journey, uh, which is going to cost you a lot of money, it is important that you take a step back to figure out what are the outcomes you're really trying to change, right? Clarity on those outcomes is a very important critical success factor because once you have clarity on the outcomes that you're trying to change, it might be NPS score for a customer, it may be the top line that you're actually generating on your uh, through your online business. Once you have clarity on the outcomes, then the strategy becomes a lot more easier to define and from the strategy comes the execution component, right? So in my mind, of course, execution in itself has several uh, you know, critical success factors, uh, but uh, the first and foremost is having clarity on the outcomes. If you have clarity on the outcomes, your ch chances of success is, is is very high. Interesting. I mean, since we're at Adobe Summit, uh, let's get your views on the strategic role a partner like Adobe would play in this journey for, uh, for our clients. Absolutely. So if you look at Adobe, Adobe is a market leader uh, and a gold standard when it comes to the space that they're operating in, which is today, uh, you know, experience, right? Uh, I think Adobe has a phenomenally important role to play in this role, in this space. Uh, look at uh, look at us, for example, in Infosys. In Infosys, we uh, we obviously do several things. One of the things that we do is we build platforms for our customers so that they can reach their consumers or their end customers, right? And these platforms, either we build it out of the box, uh, so uh, which is you take an SAP Hybris or an Oracle and then you set it up for your customer or you build it ground up right now this is the part of building the platform now that's not going to be good enough what you need to be able to do is you need to also make sure this platform is delivering the value that is expecting uh, both to the customer uh, and the end consumer right so which means you do you have the right content which is uh, which is being delivered to the consumer in terms of personalization do you have the right uh, management of digital assets and, and so on and so forth so that's a very important part it's not just great to build the uh, build the platforms it's also important to deliver the experience where, which is where Adobe comes into play and I think they have a very important role in the entire uh, digital transformation process. Great, I think those are some fascinating insights. Uh, Rajesh, any, any closing comments on what are the success mantras or any key messages that you would like to share? I think, uh, you know, we, we covered it, you know, the success mantra is having clarity on the outcomes that you really want to change for your company and uh, and often from my uh, little bit of experience, uh, you know, digital is uh, 
is a story that has to be top down. As in, you have to have the uh, top most senior most leadership's involvement in, I would go to say, the CEO's thought process in actually modeling the entire digital transformation because it is going to impact your business at, at its core, right? It's going to impact the way customers are really seeing you. Uh, and I think as long as the commitment from top down is there, clarity on outcomes is there, and there is obviously a good amount of focus on execution, uh, you know, it's definitely possible to get there.